Well, Google is about to censor anyone who's considered conservative. James Damore, the engineer who wrote a memo saying Google has no tolerance for ideological diversity, was fired by Google, thereby completely proving his point. But wait, this diversity memo must have been chock full of racism and misogyny, right? I mean, look at the reactions. What this employee said indicates discrimination and hostility. Google should fire him. Honestly, if no one is fired over this, Google should just admit their commitment to women is window dressing. I, for one, am okay living in a world where using pseudoscience to promulgate sexism against my co-workers is a fireable offence. If I weren't there, I would just walk to his desk and beat the shit out of him! Must have been pretty bad, right? What did he actually say? Men and women are biologically different, and have different skill sets suited to different tasks. A manifestly provable biological fact agreed upon by mainstream science that men tend to occupy more leadership positions because they are under more pressure to be status driven, that companies like Google discriminate against conservatives because of their political views, that Google has set up a politically correct monoculture in order to enforce an ideological echo chamber that shames dissenters into silence, and that people should be treated as individuals. And for that, James Damore was hunted down. I didn't Identified, publicly shamed and dispensed with for his egregious thought crimes. The further a society drifts from truth, the more it will hate those who speak it. The left is at war with reality. Google is the Ministry of Truth. James Damore had the temerity to say 2 plus 2 equals 4. He had the gall to question whether Oceania had always been at war with... And this is Paul Joseph Watt from Watson from Infowars. Now, if you look at this Chrome article, right, yeah, screw you, Google. Anyway, let's look through this article. Of course, as this is InfoWars, the site Google is trying to get rid of. They're basically trying to get rid of conservatives on YouTube. Because Google can't accept the fact that they're wrong. And if, you, if it, it explains it here, somewhere in this article. With East Asia, he there. had the nerve to refuse to participate. Memo! That's exactly what the expressing dissent, given that Google's new Vice oh, President of Diversity, Integrity and Governance, Danielle Brown, literally worked for Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. Let's get this straight. This isn't just about one guy losing his job. This is about Google, the company that owns YouTube, making it crystal clear that it's hostile to ideological diversity. The company that has a near monopoly on search traffic. The most powerful corporation in the world in terms of controlling information. Just confirmed they have no interest in tolerating diversity of opinion. Let that sink in. So basically, even anything somewhat conservative basically will get you censored all your videos demonetized and you basically destroyed this is what Google is trying to do <clears throat> YouTube is active actively trying to get rid of this look even Paul Joseph Watson with his new video Think that headline sounds like clickbait? Well, think again. They banned me on Facebook because of a video I posted 18 months ago. A parody video making fun of feminism, the target of which, Copper Cab, was in on the joke. <laughs> making fun of feminism is now a bannable offense on Facebook. Remember, this is the guy who wants to be a cult leader and the president of the United States. People being banned on Patreon for having the wrong opinions. People being fired by Google for pointing out scientific facts. Google insiders admitting they game the algorithm to bury search results. And YouTube. Oh, let me tell you about YouTube. One week after they empowered the ADL to police hate speech on YouTube, 
to, one week after I warned they would use this to target us. Mass flagging and mass demonetization of pro-Trump accounts across the board. Some people saying 95% of their videos have been affected. Diamond and Silk talking about bringing a class action lawsuit against Google. I just looked and YouTube has literally demonetized every single video I ever made about Islam. They even demonetized a video of me criticizing Modern art! Whistleblowers have confirmed our videos are being hidden from the recommended list. YouTubers who aren't even right wing. People like the amazing atheist losing hundreds of subscribers every time they upload a video. The message is clear. Don't have controversial opinions or you will be punished. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not here to make videos about kittens. I just can't do it. But YouTube's a private company, they can do what they like. Bullshit! Google's a monopoly. There's no competition to YouTube. At this point, Google is the internet. I the thing that <clears throat> modern feminism has caused a lot more problems than it's solved. The fact that Islam, being a terrorist group, not technically a terrorist group, but Islam, with Sharia law, trying to enforce it on Americans they hate, just ridiculous. Need to seriously think about whether it's worth investing hundreds and hundreds of hours of my time every year into something that could just completely disappear when I wake up tomorrow morning on a platform owned by Google that has made it abundantly clear they don't support free speech. I mean, I'll probably ride it until the wheels fall off, but this is it for now. We defeated Hillary, we hit a million subscribers, we had a good run. Better to burn out than to fade away. Obviously I was contemplating whether I should do it or not. Hey, we won the argument, but at the end of the day, they own the platform. Maybe, just maybe, we need to support each other more and stop letting our egos get in the way of everything. But the fight will continue elsewhere. Until we're raided and shut down for Russian collusion, Infowars.com will still be around. Let's get it straight. I'm not flouncing. I'm not taking my ball and going home. I'm not going to start crying on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably come back at some point if I'm not banned. But unless the big prominent YouTubers and the free speech advocates start freaking out about this, like Diamond and Silcar, the die is cast. That's it. I'm done. Diamond and Silk. being the people that, um, they were the people with that viral video that, uh, supported Trump. But it's ridiculous. Your opinion is now censored.